Hey there! So I've done a lot of mustache wax reviews. What I haven't done, however, is shown you the proper way to apply the mustache wax. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. However, before I get into that, there's a few things that you should know. Mustache wax can come in several different size containers, as well as several different shapes. Some even come in glass containers. Some even come with a guitar pick or some kind of scraping device like it. However, they are all pretty much applied the same. There's also a few things that you're going to need, like a mirror. I happen to use this little two-sided one. You're also going to be needing a comb. I prefer the T81 by Kent. And of course, you're going to be needing a mustache wax. Today, we're going to be using the Stash Bomb Wicked Good. Now, although you could do up your whole mustache just with those three products, there's a couple more that'll make it just a little bit easier especially for the stiffer waxes. The first one is some type of cloth, rag, toilet paper, whatever. Just something that you can wipe off your comb with if there happens to get to be chunks on your comb. And for those extra strong mustache waxes, a blow dryer comes in very handy, preferably one that has multiple settings. Now that you guys know what you need, let's go ahead and start applying that mustache wax. Now you're gonna want your wax to be warm. But how do you do that? Well, there's three main ways. One, you carry it in your pocket like I do. It'll keep it nice and close to your body and should keep it just about the right consistency. Or you can go ahead and run it under warm water for a while. Or you can go ahead and use your blow dryer to warm it up a little bit. Now you're gonna wanna remove a little bit with your thumbnail or the pick that came with it. Then you rub it between your first finger and your thumb to warm it up a little bit. Then you start at the inside of your mustache and work your way out to blend it in. Then you simply add a little bit more as needed. Now make sure that you don't add a lot because overdoing it can definitely ruin the look of a mustache. Now as you can see, I've got a lot of it right in here and not so much out here, but I have pulled a lot of that out to the tips of the mustache. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that brush and I'm just going to brush it through that. And I like to brush it out and then brush it down and then right back out again. And now if you put in too much or you've had clumps in it in certain spots, you may end up with little clumps on your brush. Now your options for that is either you kind of rub it off and rub it back into your stash, or you just take that rag and wipe off the axis. Now this is where the blow dryer is going to come in really handy, because sometimes if it's a really strong tacky wax or a really waxy consistency, you're going to end up having little chunks or places that aren't going to want to brush out very easy. And that's when you're going to want to hit it with the blow dryer. And where the settings on the blow dryer come in really important is that you don't want to be using a high heat. Because if you use a high heat, you're going to be drying out the mustache hair itself as well as the skin underneath it. And that's going to be very unhealthy for the mustache as well as your skin. So the settings on my blow dryer are usually going to be a medium heat to a low heat with a medium speed. Now I'm not having any issue with the mustache wax at the moment. However, I am still going to demonstrate it for you just so you guys get the idea. Now one thing that you really don't want to do is hold the blow dryer in one place because that's going to heat up the hair as well as the skin underneath it just like it would if you had it on high heat. One nice thing about using the blow dryer as well, the comb wax will also end up warming up a little bit and therefore will coat those hairs on your mustache. Now that we've got the wax in our mustache, now it's time to style it. I personally like to do a down and up handlebar mustache, but some people might like the kind of English style where it just comes out. Now there are a few differences with that. Through me trying it out, I have learned that doing the out definitely helps to kind of spin and twirl that mustache 
to get the hairs to stand out straight. Now I have not put in enough wax to be able to do an English style right now, but I should hopefully be able to do a handlebar mustache. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I do not like to twirl my mustache because it doesn't seem to really do anything. And personally, I think that it strains the mustache hair more than it needs to be strained. So I'm just gonna take and pinch it in between my forefinger and my thumb and work the thumb up to try to get that curl in there. I can also go the other way. Now, as you see, I've got a little bit of a curl in there, but it's not quite enough. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put some more wax in my mustache. Now, instead of starting from the center again, because I think that the center hair has enough wax on it as it is, I'm going to just kind of put some right where I really need that curl to go. And once again, I'm starting out with just a little bit and starting in the center and working my way out. Make sure that I got all of the hair in there. And of course, comb it out and do that whole process over again. So now that I've got the curls where I'm at, unfortunately I realized that I started to have some of the little chunks off the comb kind of going into the stash. So I'm just gonna warm those up just a little bit, just enough so that they'll melt away. All right, now that I've got the main curl done, unfortunately there's a few split ends in here that I really want to be to a nice fine point. So I'm just gonna take just the littlest bit of wax just to straighten those up. And there we go, my mustache is complete. If this how-to helped you out, please give me a big thumbs up down below. Hit that subscribe button for more videos every week. And of course, let me know what kind of mustache you're currently wearing. Until next time, you have a good one.